Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Nikix. So in this video, I'm going to explain you how to validate checkbox and radio button in your jQuery. So I have made a temporary, uh, I have made a temporary coding in which I have done, like I have add my jQuery.js file and I have put a function and input type checkbox, checkbox, the both name I have given C1 and C2 and to the radio button as I have defined uh, the same name is being used in the entire radio button so I have given the same name. So here is a button click so I am just going to check this that whether my jQuery is working or not. So hello. Hello and I am just going to check this. So yes the jQuery is working. So what I need to do is I need to click uh, on a button and I need to check that whether my checkbox is checked or not. So in the case of checkbox, in the case of radio, in the case of radio buttons, only one value is selected by default. But in the it in the case of checkbox, we need to select multiple values. We need playing also. We need reading also. Either of one, I need to be it need to be selected. So I need a validation over here that one of the both of one value should be selected. Either it's been playing or it's been the reading or both both can be selected. So for that, I'm going to type a condition over here if dollar. So I can say here input uh, type type equals to checkbox input type checkbox checked dot length if it is greater than zero so input input is my input type and the type is this one you have if you have created a form there should be there will be a text box also password also radio button also but if I need the validation only to my checkbox, so here I need to specify that input type equals to checkbox and if its checked property is true, means if person has ticked on that checkbox and its length and the checked, checked box means the one who are checked if its length is greater than zero means if its length is greater than zero then i can say here is alert okay else i can say here is alert at least one checkbox must be selected so let's check so if i'm just clicking over here it's showing me at least one checkbox must be selected why because none of them is being selected and here if input type checkbox check means none of is being checked so its length is not greater than zero it's right now its length is zero so the condition becomes false and it's moved to at least one checkbox must be selected and if i am going to select one checkbox so it's saying me the okay so this is the condition you need to check input type checkbox and if it is checked, any of the check, it will pick up the length. If length is greater than zero, then it's okay. Otherwise, if it is not checked, then the length will be less than, uh, it will not be greater than zero, it, it will be zero. So here, so in that case, at least alert, one checkbox must be selected condition. True. So this is, a, this is in the case of your checkbox. And if I am now, like looking into uh, the radio button so i can just put here as input radio and i can specify its name as r1 so if input type radio i need to start here as double quotes then only i can separate it with single quotes in between so if input radio name equals to r1 i have a radio button with the name r1 if is 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 the property is the function so if it is checked if any of the radio is checked then 
uh, I need to say here as is check and then it's alert. I can say okay and if it is not then it will be alert at least who need to check one preview. So I'm going to refresh this. So uh, I'm just clicking on that. Uh, I think there is some error. You can just click on right click inspect element. There is a dot error in between. So let's look here like uh, this is my input radio and I do not need because it's, it's a if condition. So I need it to end at the last. So if input radio name R1 is checked and if it's returned true, then it will be OK because condition is true, then it will be saying OK. And if it's, if it's condition is false, it will be saying at least one, you need to check one radio. So there is not any error in console. So moving to this part like checkbox. So if checkbox, obviously its length is greater than one because I have checked on the single checkbox so it's alert okay and now it's saying me at least you you need to check to one radio because if input radio if input radio name r1 is checked so none of them is checked so condition become false condition be, if condition become false it's moving to the else part so it's saying me at least you need to check one radio so if i'm going to select one radio then it's okay the checkbox one and the other one is radio one is also so in this way you can just uh, validate your checkbox and radio button in your jQuery so if you like my video do subscribe to my channel do like and share my videos to get updated about the latest jQuery tutorials thanks for watching my video